All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Diablo Three Tactics. This is gonna be a little bit of a different one. I've never done one of these. I've done, I've been in collabs. I've never actually been the host of a collab, so bear with me as I struggle through. So um, I'm gonna be promoting a new content creator. He is part of the new official uh, Eternal Evolution content creator group. Uh, we got a whole new bunch of faces, but I've known Donk for a long, long time. Let's bring him in now. There he is. So, uh, Donk, Hi. him and I used to play Marvel Future Revolution. I think that's how we, we met. Actually, that is how we met. You were a mm -hmm. high-end theory crafter. You were a Spider-Man to start? or No, you were a magic, weren't you? No, no. I was a Captain Marvel to start. Oh, yes, that's right. So they nerfed uh, to the, through the floor. Um, and then I went through a brief period of magic, but she wasn't that good. Uh, went to Spidey and then Scarlet Witch come out and... Um, Everything changed really in terms of that. Yeah, and Donks is the leader. You're you're the leader. Correct me if I'm wrong. Of a guild in the CLS faction, which is the Celestials Alliance, over on the EU servers. Fun fact: I was initially my first guild was CLS NA1, and then I got bumped to CLS NA2 before the revolution began, and we split off into our two separate alliances. How uh, how are you liking it over in the uh, in the Celestials cluster? Uh, it's, it's really good, actually. I can't say enough about it, guys. I mean, there's so much information, as you know. I mean, you're in the um, Discord. Yep. Um, there's so much stuff flying around in there. It's really a busy community. Um, and you can put as much as or as little as you want from there. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, we've got our own sort of uh, internal Discord chat as well. So there's lots of stuff going on in that respect. And... Um, yeah, it's, it's nice. They're a nice group to be part of. There's not, not too many. Well, everyone seems pretty friendly anyway. Put it that way. <laughs> no, for sure. So are, are there guilds that are always looking for people? Like if we put the uh, link to their Discord in the description for people that are possibly looking for a really, really good cluster, which, in, and Donk's kind of said it, they have a huge Discord server with any kind of information you can possibly require to learn anything in Eternal Evolution. Would they mind me us putting the link and sending people your way? Um, certainly not. We're always looking for good people. Um, all we are, we've got, we've got guilds for people of all levels. All we want is active people. Um, if you're active and you want to be part of a guild and you want to learn, uh, we're as good a place as any to go. Um, and we're always opening new new guilds when a new server opens. Not always immediately, um, but within a period of time, we'll, we'll always have a guild there. So there's plenty for people, even new players or old players or whatever ability levels you're at casual hardcore whatever it is there's a space for you cool right on okay so i'll put the link to the uh the celestials just disc or discord link down below in the description as well ladies and gentlemen i'm going to put donk's channel his youtube channel down in the description i'd really appreciate it if we can uh pump up those numbers go over subscribe to his stuff um just he's got really good stuff he's getting better he's got so he's got an editor now a really fancy editor Right, Donks? Yeah, that's my daughter. <laughs> so, uh, well, I thought, I, I, the funny story is, I'm, I'm putting together this video, I'm like, I really want this to look like, you know, like it's not just done out of a basement or a bedroom, whatever, or just got a little bit of finesse to it. And she's like, you're just doing it all wrong. Dad, just give me the thing. Send it to me and I'll sort it out for you. There we go. So, <laughs> Perfect. I did. And she's made a rod for her own book back now. She has to edit all my videos. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be challenging her to come up with new and interesting concepts to, to add to it. <laughs> Good. Right on. Okay. So, yeah, click on that link in the description, everybody, please. You'll be uh, you'll be doing me a favor and we'll be helping out a good content creator as well. Okay. So, let's get into some EE discussion. So, you mm -hmm. came over roughly when? When did you start playing the game? Well, I briefly start. I mean, to be honest, it was you that actually advised me to play the game. Um, but I got caught up with some IRL stuff. Um, so I basically restarted again in February. Um, and yeah, I've just enjoyed it. I've tried many different games and I tend to sort of come back to it. Like I'll play a game for a couple of weeks and I won't, I'll, sort of, I'll start off quite enthusiastic. But I like the fact that they sort of, they do do lots of new content. I mean, we've been in games, as we know, where they don't always release new content. It's stale, it's boring, they do the same repetitive stuff over and over again. Um, but in this game, they're releasing new dungeons, new events like uh, the Endless Battles. They're changing up Twilight all the time. So 
Yeah, there's a lot. There's enough to keep me engaged. I think in this game. Yeah, it's kind of funny that you hear like if you go on Facebook and you uh, go through the comments or on official Discord channel, people are saying, "Please give us more content," and uh, like I keep track. We usually get a new content update of some kind every two weeks, which. This game has been out for a year. It seems like they are really trying to pump out all the stuff. We've got all the dungeons all kind of laid out now. All the PvE stuff is laid out with Endless Battles, Twilight being in a cadence and all the dungeons. And now we're kind of moving into a PvE focus. So I don't, I don't get the criticism of people saying that, that we need more content. I think these guys are doing pretty good pumping it out, keeping it... Uh, uh, steady for the last year because we're coming up to the one year anniversary of the soft launch which was I do believe in August so uh, I know the official launch was November probably going to get a double chip or something then and I know um, we're probably going to get some good stuff yeah. so if anyone is if anyone's looking for when the next double chip is going to be uh, next it's probably going to be for their one year anniversary uh, and then there'll probably be another one at Christmas because I think we had one at Christmas last year so uh, now that the game's kind of one year in and you've kind of seen how they've uh, the developers have kind of moved and kind of developed the game, what are your thoughts on the game? Like, what is it that keeps you engaged? Is it just the content or is it the fact that you can log in just whenever? Because I know, again, coming from Marvel Future Revolution, we had that stupid guild raid system that required you to yep. be in the game. It was yeah. It was dumb. It was dumb implementation of a game mode. It, it, was, it was annoying because they did the the buffs and the debuffs and you had to have like eight spider-men but if you had two three iron men you'd get a debuff uh, you get a buff for the eight spider-men etc but it required everyone to be on at the same time mm -hmm. whereas these guild hunts you go in you do your damage and that's it you ain't got to worry about anybody else you've not got to sit in a queue waiting for people to come in um and i like it and, and like you say i mean People who think there's not much content being released in this game really do need to sort of try a handful of other games and realise they're just quite how lucky they are in terms of content. We've got loads of stuff all the time coming out. And this game gives, what I like about this game, it gives theory crafting. There's no right, there are builds that are OP, there are builds that you can do that are going to get you through. But there's nothing to stop anybody trying something different and people do, like yourself, like me, like... Mm -hmm. Uh, gameplay horizon whoever it might be it's great for theory crafters this game because it gives you a license to try something and there's a thing of satisfaction when you do do that and it pays off yeah and there's so many teams like you i know you're an assassin guy so a lot of people really <laughs> unless you dump in a lot into assassins they're not you're not going to get the most out of them you really do have to kind of commit to a team at this point to develop it and build it like op it out max it out get the right prototypes and then you can just conquer so many parts of the game, but then the game requires you to have all these other teams for other PvE contents, and then you got to build those ones up and build those ones up, and it's really, it's just a grind, but it doesn't really feel like a grind either. Uh, no, do I don't think it does. Cause it's, it's, uh, no, I, I totally get what you're saying, but because it is fun to build different teams. Everybody's got teams they don't particularly like using or don't, or don't bother with, like with me with Hunters. I don't... <laughs> I've never really been into hunters. I don't really use hunters much. Uh, there'll be people that are annoying me, but like, I just, it depends on where your focus was and what you've built. But I can get around the hunter situation with assassins, for example. Maybe that's a design flaw in the game or whatever. I don't know. But there are certain teams that everybody goes for, but then you, you need certain teams. So when you've got these bonds in Twilight and stuff, it kind of forces you to look at either finding a way around it or actually working on those teams which does you well in the long run speaking of twilight where are you at right now well <laughs> um basically this morning i mean there's i'm in a fortunate situation where i'm in a server where quite a few whales quit um so there's not really that much high-end competition at the very very top that's not to say that there's not really good people in the guild but for example i got to the end of yesterday i got to the last one to uh stage 10. Yep. um obviously looking at how to work here i was trying to get through it quickly i went in this morning to finish it off because it was about half done and i saw that the two people in my server had already done it in about 10 minutes but like from the reset mm -hmm. so i was like and i looked at the list and i saw that everybody was like nobody had finished the hunter one yet no everyone was at like 16 6. So I thought, I'm just going to give it a go, and, and it's early, I want to go back to bed. 
because it was six in the morning for me. So I just ran it and I got it to a whisker, two percent, two percent health. Um, so I'll go in in the morning and I'll finish it off, and I should be fine for third place. I'll get everything I need. I'll, or I'll lose a couple of rooms. Where, do you, where yeah. do you think you're going to end up? Top five or top ten? Uh, top three. Top three? Okay, perfect. Yeah, if you get top yeah, five saying, in the yeah. lands, you're golden, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, there's three of us, and all of us are in the same alliance that are top three so far every month. Um, so, you know, it's um, it's quite nice to have the luxury of almost guaranteeing you're going to get those rewards. Yeah, it's, it's you're talking about uh, like I'm on a NA28 as well, and if we just look, I got pulled up, I got Twilight Lands pulled up in the background for uh, I know Donks can't see it, but those of you watching can see it. So there's like a race right now. We're a couple days in. You see there on my server, there's about five of us that have cleared uh, 1610. And if we scroll down, and if we yeah. look at people that have gone, like even my free to play, which is what we're streaming on right now, is in 161. Uh, and there's only 33 people. So I'm in 33rd on my free to play count in the same server. So that kind of just kind of tells you that there's maybe 20, maybe 15, 20 active people on my guild, but only about five or six that are uh, the really the, or 10 that are the, the go to diehards, which makes me think that, mm. that we're going to get um, uh, a, mer a server merger at yeah. some point because they're going to have to, or they don't, they or they design they game modes, which span like a hundred servers versus just like five or ten because i know like well i know it's just funny you mention that because they i don't know about over on in na but in eu they expanded uh the servers for summit last time i think I, so I think we I had people that. in summit yeah we had people in summit that we hadn't had in there before but it made it really quite interesting because it was basically everybody who was in our our, our version of world chat was basically able there was a lot of bands flying around because people were fighting each other that hadn't before etc so it did make it quite interesting actually it was my favorite summit so far well even world chat seems to be expanded so i have another free to play account on na65 who can also mm. like i that chat is the same chat i see on my na28 so i think like they did say with guild vs guild the first one was just limited to either your server or a narrow band of servers but they did mention when they talked about revamping guild vs guild that they were going to open it up wide like huge and wide mm. cross server and that can work if they just make all the game modes cross server cool and then we'll just be on our little islands for stuff like twilight lands and endless battle which only helps us because we can get top five top ten rewards right exactly so. exactly i mean endless was unbelievably close on my server it was um between me and dave um there's three hundred. yeah 300k in it i think it was 108 just over 118 versus 100 and high 117 so it was very 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 close and it changed daily the lead changed daily it was really interesting really good fun yeah i know i had people Australia. i had people in your alliance <laughs> sending me screenshots of the of the uh the race between you two can't remember who that was. It was a war. Uh, it was a war. At one point, it was just like I was, I was just doing it. I was like, I've got to step, stop doing this. I'm like literally running it. It's been like two hours, and I haven't like done anything except do endless battles. I was like, no, you've got to get over this obsession. Just walk away. Do it enough of time. Well, I'll tell you what. The next time that endless battle rolls around here in a week, I'll only send the guide videos to you, and I won't post them on the CLS server. How about that? Right, yeah, yeah, go, yeah. There that's go. that's there a go. good, that's a good plan, yeah. I'll All hold right. you to that. <laughs> okay, so I think we've kind of alluded to it, but your your favorite class in game, what is your go-to heroes in, in Eternal Evolution? Well, it's got to be Hunters, really, isn't it? Oh, okay. No, oh, I didn't expect <laughs> no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, um, 100% Assassins. I mean, I could have been more hyped about them at the moment. We've got an Assassin... Um, support and a new assassin coming out basically which is i think they'll probably be the next two characters in the game over there at least have you seen and... confirmation that the next hero banner is actually a support because i've i've we're getting comp or uh conflicting reports no, I've, from I've just yeah. heard i've just heard I, I don't know it for, for certain but i think from what i hear and this is just where it's going around. It's going to be a melee support, which would probably help vanguards and assassins, I'm assuming. And if she gives shields, mm -hmm. then just maybe we can use that 
one that's supposed to be for vanguards and assassin what's it called the uh, annihilation. Of annihilation yep maybe that'll be good for assassins finally if that happens i'm really hoping that's the case but i am too we, can see. we definitely need we got we got miranda who's an energy and a hunter buffer uh, more so mm -hmm. energy but also hunters you got that synergies built into her kit it would be really nice to have a dedicated support we could run with our assassins because miranda we want on every team now basically mm -hmm. it would be nice to have another one like that like you said for melee support that would buff with shields vanguards and or uh, assassins because then both teams that would make them much more viable in pvp it would elevate them wouldn't it both teams would be elevated mm -hmm. i mean and as well as that, i mean I, I chose the right team to go hard on with assassins really because it seems like every single dungeon that comes out in endless you need done for yep that is. <laughs> i don't think we're gonna have an assassin endless battle this next go around though it's gonna be no hunters, it will be. <laughs> it's gonna be hunters and summoners which we just got in endless and then maybe energy because those were the three or er, those were the three battles we had in twilight and it seems like there's right. a little bit of a synergy or a scheduling with whatever is available in twilight becomes some of the bosses in um in endless or vice versa because the vanguard battle in endless was the exact same one they gave us last twilight or the twilight before as a boss was mm -hmm. that one so it's they kind of double dip and they share those and the energy boss in um endless or in twilight was also the energy boss battle we got in in endless so they'll share those so everyone's got to have their summoners ready for the next one so okay yeah i, I figured summons would probably be in yeah. there but i wasn't sure on the other two i thought maybe vanguards or tanks might get a revisit but i think so too because we've had assassins both times now with the new revamp yeah it won't be there so sorry I'm you're gonna have to, yeah you're gonna have to give this one to dave i guess this uh, next one yeah i think so i think so <laughs> so are you excited to get rid of bailey on your team or are you gonna run all four in a pvp well team? it depends it really does depend i mean we haven't seen the kit yet we don't know exactly how how she's going to work um i'm assuming she probably uh, if, if i could can get rid of baby he's likely to let's be honest here it's like a wet fart yeah. um so it I, i'll have to do some theory crafting and see who viable alternative is because at the moment obviously we're only really using him for the gab out mm -hmm. synergy aren't we really and, and to give rick a little bit of quit rate potentially Exactly. Um, he, he, he like feeds both like Rickard and Dominic. They synergize those two heroes very, very well together. And, and then mm. Bailey, who used to be uh, like everybody's favorite hero for the pay to win at the beginning, yeah. was great. And then he's his damage just hasn't scaled with all the new characters, unfortunately. Mm. So no, assassins, which one is better? You, because you and me have butted heads on this one. Which one is it, Rickard or Dominic? Because both need each other. Why? And I know the answer, but which one is the most important of the class and why? It's obvious, isn't it? Uh, I know your answer, but I want you to <laughs> to explain it to everybody. Right, okay. It's Dominic because overall he gives more value independently, I think. In my this is subjective, it's my opinion, but his mark works with everything. Mm -hmm. So you can use that with energy teams, with a strong nord, with whatever him laying a mark on there and then accumulating and ramping that damage up. You've only got to look at his numbers in Whale and stuff like that. Um, Ricker is amazing and it's not like it's a uh, Dom's brilliant and Ricker's not. He's very, very good. He's an excellent team and he was the reason, Ricker, that I built Assassins in the first place because I thought his kit was amazing. Um, but Dom's just something else. He's like the high heel ninja, isn't he? Yeah, and we did, well, I, for, I've said that to other people too, is those aren't high heels, those are boosters that allow him to sprint so far. Uh, they're not high heels. Yeah. And you're right, <laughs> we saw in the last Endless Battles that Dominic was used in all three, uh, or he could be used in all three to get top numbers, just like you said, because his mark doesn't care what crit damage it's collecting from whatever class, as long as people are critting, which Jaina critted like a monster, and then in the Hunter battle everyone there critted you know out of their freaking eardrums so mm -hmm. All right. 100%. okay what's so, your opinion what do you, do you think do you think do you I, think dom so the reason i used to always say records and the reason why i said records because records soul swords is, is what dictates the damage so you wanted to build record out first and get his attack value as high as possible because his swords on the other assassins is what dictated their damage but then these two 
do synergize perfectly because without Dom, Rickert's not doing as much. And then on the Assassin team, but like you've said, Dom doesn't care. He does in an Assassin team, yes, he synergizes as well with everybody, but he can move also elsewhere and be plug and play. It's kind of like, say, Ampu and Sorvali. Like, you you can use, or I shouldn't say that, say, say Dan. Yeah. Dan on the Summoners, you can plug and play everywhere. Uh, but on the team, he synergizes with the whole team, and you. but you can move him into so many different teams just because of the stun and et cetera parts of his kit. But say like someone like Sorvali, you wouldn't put her anywhere. She kind of has to stay with, with summoners to make yeah. it work, right? Or Ampu. Ampu has to stay with summoners to make it work. So cool. 100%. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's ask this question. So I know we were all big fucking whales in, in uh, Marvel Future Revolution. So are you yeah, a spender or are you free to play in Eternal Evolution? Um, I'm I'm kind of like a dolphin, I guess. Um, I, I spend when I need. I'm trying to be a little bit more savvy about what I do. Uh, but if something comes up, it's like really good. I'll get it. I normally get the pass, like the wasteland pass, particularly um, is useful for me. Yep. Um, and a few bits, but I'm I'm not. I, I think I've gone, I've gone through a phase where I spent quite a bit, and I was like, oh, spent a bit this month, and then I tend to cut back a little bit, and then maybe I'll go, oh, do you know what? I've got a few extra quid this month or. I'll whack it on something, but I'm, I'm trying to be like a lot more discerning with what I spend and, and look for value. Is this really going to benefit me or is it just, I don't do things to get me there quicker. I do things to get me better. Yeah. And do you think that spending in this game, it's, do you think it's needed? I don't think it's necessarily needed. Um, I think you have to be smart with your resources and patient. You can build up a lot of genes, etc. But it's, it's what you put in. You only gonna get extra genes, extra gene mutation crystals, um, the things you use to upgrade your your uh, prototypes, whatever, yep. by being good at the game. So you need to obviously put in effort. If you're not gonna put in money, you're not gonna put the money in, you need to put in the theory crafting and the effort. But I think you can achieve good results if you're smart with your resources and that the, the gap, you're never going to be, if someone's dropping a thousand pound a month and you're free to play, you're not going to be on their level. But the gap between that and free to play is a lot less wide than some games we've played together, I perhaps. I completely agree. Like, PvP in this game mode, like, in the in again, the previous game that me and Donks came from, Marvel Future Revolution, all of your currency was dictated on your PvP, basically, right? Yeah. That dictated yeah. all of your in-game currency, whereas this game, PvP, for now, at least for now, we don't, we don't know what Infernal Arena is going to be the rewards, but PvP is a minuscule uh, rewards mm. in Galactic Arena and 1v1 Arena. Summon Arena, a little bit different. You know, the rewards are really, really good if you get to the top 16, but in that game mode, that, that's at least evident where if you're not spending... Well, I shouldn't say if you're not spending money because I do know some free-to-play players that have dominated and won Summit. I think that's going to be kind of based on the luck of the draw in your server and how many whales you have in your groupings of servers, how well you do, mm. but uh, those rewards are nice. But in this game, PvP... Uh, which is really, if you're going to spend, that's really the only thing you're going to get like far and above other people on. Because PvE, like even my free-to-play account, I'm getting X2 down on every dungeon in Lost Valley. Uh-oh. Looks like running out of time. Okay, we got 10 minutes to go. So we can we can wrap this up in 10 minutes. I am not paying for Zoom to update <laughs> my Zoom. So I agree with you, right? I don't no, think it's no, necessary. Don't do that. I don't think... You uh, can buy another copy of... Um... Uh, thoroughly for that. Exactly. So, and good, you picked out, you picked a good faction too. If you picked assassins, because those uh, prototype advancement crystals are really where you know that saves you a hundred bucks if you can get sixty well, shards of those. It's so such an easy farm now. I can just stick it on all. I not think about it at all. Occasionally, I'll go for a speed run like I did showed on the video before. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it, it's nice to be able to farm and they farm that, I can't remember which one, one of the Keto dungeons, it's just I can put stick that on all those as well, so it's useful. I think probably Assassins are my favourite, but I think Energy have probably got the strongest for, if you look across the content maybe, if you're looking at, at the game in general, it's very subjective, but I think Energy heroes perhaps do more 
for you across all areas of game. I agree with you. I agree with you there. Okay, so we, we touched on PvP. What are your thoughts on the upcoming Infernal Arena, which looks like it's likely to drop I'm either hyped. this Thursday or next week Thursday? I'm hyped. I'm buzzing. I just can't wait to go in there swinging. I'm going to windmill in like on everyone and just go for it. It's fun. It's good fun. It's, it's how it should be, that sort of stuff. Um, it's going to be interesting. I, I, I like to see it done well. Um, it's hard to comment on it until we've seen how it's going to work. Um, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, I'm, if the new assassin is a reward for it, which it looks likely it might be, yep, I agree. then I'm going to be going guns blazing for it. That's all I can say. It's all about how they implement <laughs> it because there's been some people have been able to, to kind of parse what they've given us. And it looks like it's going to be an eight-week uh, it's an eight week total PvP mode, and it's not like Summit where if you get knocked out, all of a sudden you're done and you can only spectate. It does look like that you can see it in some of the screenshots, you can move up and down tiers. So it's kind of nice right. that you can you can not still play all eight weeks. It's just your final position is going to be on a, a, diff a tiered level uh, as you go through. So I think that's going to be really cool. They at least have to give anyone that you know, is free to play that can push a chance to complete the entire eight weeks instead of not getting knocked out in round two of uh, Summit Arena. I totally agree with that. And I think the rewards need to be reflected. Um, I think if you're free to play, you need to know you can get a copy of a new hero uh, and perhaps give more copies. If it's eight weeks, you're going to want more than one copy for eight weeks, aren't you? Oh, eight yeah. weeks craft, one yeah. copy. Yes, it does. The math doesn't work. And so, the, well, I think they're going to have to give us this character early because they did say that the new assassin is going to help you in the game mode itself. So hopefully after the first week or first round or whatever it is before they move you up or down a tier, you can have enough currency or the second round, the second week that you can get a piece of enough currency to get the new assassin if it's going to help that much. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. They did talk about a guest character though, didn't they? So do you think they're going to give you like a loan copy? That's her. Maybe it could be so like okay. Wasteland, because you know, back in the day when we used to have to do Wasteland yeah. every day, I uh, used to have I've to loan that. out a copy, <laughs> and that copy was Uber. All of the stats were just elevated through the roof. Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. Then it will make you think, "Oh my god, I want that character," and then you get your one star copy, and it's like not there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got we got six minutes left on the old Zoom before it kicks us out. So okay. now that we're coming up to the one-year anniversary, what are your thoughts going into next year? What are the, what are they going to give us? Well, I think they're going to probably do a few. They, they need to do some good events. They need to celebrate one year. They've got a good community here, um, and they need to celebrate it. We can all party together and give us some give us some good rewards, give us some good stuff, some events, some of those special dungeons like they do at Christmas. With the Christmas trees and all that, obviously not Christmassy. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they need to look at they need to overhaul the shops. Sorry, they need to look at those, and because half the stuff in there, I don't, I've not been in, bought anything from the guild shop. The dismissal dismissal shop needs to be looked at. Um, even though they've done something with it, that bottom currency, maybe we can upgrade that or whatever. A um, hundred to one, whatever it might be. Um, but yeah, just keep bringing out new content, doing what they're doing. Don't let it get stale. Don't keep something there for a year. Move it around like they did with Endless and Rise of Heroes and just keep refreshing stuff. That's all I want to see, really. Good job so far. Keep it going, yeah. basically. I agree. I agree. Do you like the two hero a month uh, release or do you think that they should go one hero a month? Because a lot of people, that's a bone of contention. Um, dropping two, basically, characters that you can't max right away. Yeah, I, I I think it's hard. I do think it's hard. I think they can either do that or they could perhaps not make. I mean, the, the, most of the heroes coming out are kind of OP, um, and, and the power creep is real, obviously. But mm -hmm. it'd be nice to be able to skip one now and then. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, yeah they they or I don't know. We haven't been able to skip a character since Bada. Bada was really the the only hero release they've so done this skippable. year that you could just not ever get a copy of her and not worry about her. Because Serena does yeah, everything think... that she does in better, which I don't know who was coding her, but they tried to buff her twice and it didn't work. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she's absolutely trash. And all they have to do is she has <laughs> she has a like one meter radius of an attack buff. 
and no one's standing one meter near her. No one that you want to be doing a, an attack buff. So what? What they should just make her attack buff, kind of like Miranda. Make it three meters. Make it that the big swirl, the exact same. And now people might actually use her if they can use her in, as a support uh, or attack supporting character as well. And she's a great tank healer. She can she can single target heal like no one's business. But she just brings nothing else to the game. No. So, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wrap it up before uh, we lose Donkey's pretty face. Um, again, t tell us where uh, where you give us uh, tell us your YouTube channel's name. Uh, my YouTube channel's name is Donkey Punch. So if you look um, under Eternal Evolution or just search me up, it's Donkey Punch with two E's instead of an EY. Um, you'll find me. There's a picture of a donkey wearing boxing gloves. Okay. And that's my little logo. And we'll also all we'll have that link down the yeah, in the description, everybody. Please go click on that and okay. uh, show the donk some love. And uh, yeah, no, it was nice having you, donks. Any uh, final words to anyone Thank that's going to be looking at this? Thank Thanks for having me. Um, watch your content all the time as well, and you're awesome. So yeah, it's been a pleasure to be on. And um, cheers. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, donks. All right, everybody. No uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more collaborations. Uh, say so down in the in the comments below since now that I have all my scenes kind of set up and I can know how to do this uh, We can maybe talk to some more people get some more diverse opinions get a little bit of a roundtable going for people in the EE community uh, If you want to come on if you're if you really know your stuff You don't have to show your face or whatever We can just make a funny little logo for you hit me up in my in my discord channel or DM me on discord And we can uh, we can see what we can do so everyone. Thanks for coming I hope you enjoy this type of content again go click on the link in the description for donks uh, YouTube channel give it a subscribe show them some love you know as the community gets bigger the game gets bigger along with it and it gives us a little bit more uh i don't know like look what we did for Durali. we threw everyone in there and their in their dog complained we actually got an apology out of the devs which is very rare in, in a mobile game so thanks donks for coming everyone else thank you catch you in the next one cheers peace bye-bye <laughs>